<laughs> Hello, Cinternet. Today is Friday. What are we going to talk about? How's your day going? Are you ready for the weekend? In America, it's a holiday weekend. President's Day. Woohoo! My camera's jiggling. Jiggle, jiggle. Because I got it rigged up. That's so right. I don't have to hold it. So what are we going to talk about? Well, I mean, with all the stuff that's going on with immigration, I was just going to give, like, my thoughts. You may have to just hold this because it just will not stop jiggling. I, I just, with with all that's being said and what's all going on with immigration right now, I've, you gotta talk kind of loud. I've seen a lot of people, uh, you know, out there saying things like, uh, you know, well, you know, this is a country of immigrants, and unless you can trace, uh, you know, like Native American back in, you know, your ancestry or whatever in your blood, then, then you're an immigrant too, and you don't have, uh, you, you don't have any more of a right to be here than the, than the next person, you know, coming over here illegally and stuff like that. And, and I'm talking mainly the illegal immigration, not, not legal immigration, you know, as long as it's legal, that's, that's fine. But, and, and I'm not even really getting to the topic of, of illegal immigration, just, just, for the th fact that I, I hear a lot that, you know, people are calling us immigrants because we're, you know, not Native American or whatever. Um, my thoughts there is how many generations of us have to be here before we can consider this our home? You know, that this is where we're from, that we're not an immigrant anymore. I mean, how many, and how many generations have to fight and die for this country to, to, to the fact that we can are supposedly supposed to feel comfortable calling it our own. You know, I feel comfortable calling it my own, but but then, you know, people still out there saying, well, you know, you're you're a white man, you, you know, there's no way you're from this country. Well, you know what? I've, I've done my ancestry, and I've traced it back as far as I can go, which I think it was all the way back to, like, the early 1700s, as far back as I could see, and I don't know where my ancestors came from. I'm sure it was somewhere over in Europe, but as far as <clears throat> the farthest back I can trace, it's still in America. And I can't see any further back than that. So I, I have to say I'm, I'm an American. This is my home. This is my land. I, I know I know when people first came over here, it, it was it was tragic how, how this land was taken from, from the Indians. But I... What am I supposed to do? I don't even... I can't leave. I can't go and be like, here, have your land back. I don't even know where to go to. I mean, I've had so many generations live here. And fight for I, this country. I, and fight for this country. I've had ancestors die for this country. So what's it take for us to be able to call it our country? And, and that's what I have to say about that. And I mean, leave that in the comments if you have your opinion. You know I read all the comments... And I try to comment back. He can comment. So you can get in that conversation too there on the comments. Right. But uh, I looked it up. You could get your citizenship to America in six months. So all these people saying, oh, well, my family left and now they can't come back. Well, why didn't they well, get their I mean, citizenship? I'm sure it's not just easy, that, you know, that simple to get it. And, and if you came over here illegally, yeah. Uh, got to come over here legally first to get it so i mean right i get it most people come here for a better life i understand that and that totally makes sense i mean you do what you got to do for you for yourself and your family to to make it when it comes down to it, it's about your family you do what you got to do to make life better for your family the ones i don't like which i'm sure is a minority of them that come over here illegally that come over here saying they come here for a better life to, and, and because things are so bad in their country and they love America, but then they get here and they protest America and they burn the flags and they stomp them and they wave in their flag. Well, if you're waving your flag and saying your country's so great, then why did you come here for a better life? And I, like I said, I know that's not all of them. It's probably a sm small percentage of them. I don't even know what percent it would be. But, and that's what they like to show in the media and, and social media and things like that. And just to get a rise out of people. I understand that, too. Yep. 
But, Trump calls him out. <laughs> and then that's just, you know, I don't want to get into the whole debate over who's right, should the wall be built, Trump, blah, 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 blah. You know, that's, uh, I was just getting more in the opinion, to the my opinion on where I hear, I've heard a lot of people say to me or, or to just say things about, you know, us being immigrants. Well, I right. can't even trace where my family, my, my ancestors immigrated from. So, I'm I'm an American that goes back so many generations, and I've had family fight and die for this country. I have too. I think we've paid our dues. Um, I think we can call this home. And and that you know, as tragic as it was, it was taken from the Indians. That was a long time ago. At what point can we call this our home? Um, leave your opinion in the comments and we will do what we can to uh, comment back. Well, he will because I wouldn't know what to say when it comes to that because I don't really have an opinion on that except what's taking you so long to get your citizenship. I mean, what is the reason why you can't? If you can't get it in six months like it says on the internet to a year or two years, then... You ain't doing something right. You ain't talking to the right people. You need to find out who you need to talk to. The way to get your citizenship is to join the military. I don't, like I said, I don't know how easy it is or how hard it is. I'm sure it ain't super easy to get your citizenship. I'm sure. It's something you got to work for. Right, but uh, so I. So you can't and, come here and be lazy. And I don't know how hard it is to join the military to get it, but I was in the military with guys that were in the military for that sole purpose was to get their citizenship. And I think that's a especially if you're an able body male that, that that's a great way to get your citizenship because it also proves that you love this country so much that you're willing to die for it if you're willing to die for this country i i applaud you and you should be able to be a citizen of this country yeah i dealt with the military life hence his hat <laughs> we've been married a long time I've been through the military life with him. I wasn't military, but I dealt with the military life. It's a hard life to live, but as I always say, take our opinion with a grain of salt, saying whatever you want to say. It's our opinion. You have yours. Leave it in the comments below. And we're open and, up. We're open to other ideas. I mean, yeah. that's just that's just something that I thought about one day. Um, just like a what around a week ago or so I just kind of I just started thinking I was like because I kept seeing that over and over and it you know had it said to me and I'm just like well how how when can we be like this is uh, this is our country right when can we be proud of it you know it's like whatever yeah but anyway we have to run because we are trying to beat the clock today Anyways, as I always say, show me some love, like, comment, subscribe, check that box below to see all the other places I am on the internet, and I will catch you later.